Prince. Hello and welcome to Health Potion, the show about games and health. I'm Jamie. I'm Karina. And today we are outside. Often there's this big misconception that gamers and being outside don't mix. I was tired of the phrase of come outside, the graphics are great. But you know, that's not really the case at all. I love being outside. It's just outside is where there's no power and a lot of glare. So I don't often spend time gaming outside, but that doesn't mean as a gamer, I don't enjoy being outside. So I love being outside, but why is being outside good for me from a nutritional point of view? Well, um, the sun provides us the very essential vitamin, vitamin D, which is essential for our bone health. So it helps our little osteoclasts put the, the calcium onto the bone and keep it there so that that process isn't interrupted. So when you have vitamin D deficiency, a lot of people have like bone pain, muscle pain. It's also an, a really important way that our immune system functions as well. It helps our immune cells develop properly. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have vitamin D, you can get fatigued, you can get a little bit sick. You know, and it's something that's really, really common. I've had vitamin D deficiency. And so have I. So yeah, we're the sunniest country in the world, but we have the highest rates of vitamin D deficiency because, well, the thing is, we are too sun safe. We've been told slip, slop, slap our whole lives. Slap on a hat. But, we, then, but we still need to be sun smart. We do also have the highest rates of melanoma, which is a skin-based cancer, and it's very, very, I don't know, it's not very nice. So you have to find it early and get rid of it, otherwise it kills you. So the best thing is to actually cover up in the sun and limit your sun exposure, but then you still need to go out in the sun, so it's finding that good balance. So go outside a lot, but be safe. That's true. Also, another benefit of going outside is you're exposed to a like, very different range of bacterial organisms. And now that we're understanding what the gut microbiome does to you and how it benefits your health, it's really important that we're actually going outside, having a bit of dirt on our fingernails and exposing ourselves to a variety of microbes because it actually improves our immune system. It also makes you about 10% happier going outside and getting a bit of sun every single day, sitting, doing absolutely nothing on the ground, you know, put your smartphone down for a moment, put your switch down for a moment and just be, and you will be 10% happier. 10%. 10%. 10%. 10%. Wow. 10%. So recently to an attempt to be both outside and play games at the same time, I chose the one game that forces you to be outside, Pokemon Go. In case you've been living under a geodude for the last year, Pokemon Go is an augmented reality game by Niantic, where you get to catch, collect, and battle Pokemon all out in the real world. Now, there is a lot of mechanics and a lot of things to discuss in Pokemon Go, and if you want to hear me talk about the differences between Pokemon Go and traditional Pokemon, let me know and I will talk about it forever, because there's so many things I want to talk about, and it's good and it's bad, but I want to look at this right now purely from the point of it making you be outside. And so let's start. Yes, you have to kind of be outside to enjoy this game. You can sometimes find Pokemon in your house or in your workplace, but generally if you actually want to enjoy this game at all, you've got to go outside and find the Pokemon. And that's great! That really made me want to actually leave the house and see some Pokemon and do it and I was excited. And I was like, yeah, let's do this. I was pumped. Or when I was at a park and I was a bit like, oh, hey, yeah, let's go see what else you can do in this park and go explore that area. There was that option as well. And oh, I explored so many new areas in my neighborhood that I just didn't know existed because I never went around that corner. But I had to go around that corner because that's where the poker stop was. So on that aspect, it's great. Um, if you are outside to go and walk and go on a really good walk and get exercise, this game is going to make you stop a lot along the way. Um, it basically, in my normal time, it takes me to go for a walk around my park. I'd at least double it 
to, inc to include all the time I needed to stop and catch a Pokemon and then I didn't catch a Pokemon so I'm trying to recatch that Pokemon and then go to this Pokestop and then and if you get stuck at a gym trying to like battle like you will be at that spot for a decent amount of time because it is time consuming like you want to catch that egg you want to you want to hatch that egg you've got to walk like two kilometers and that's great Walking two kilometers doesn't take long, but it takes a lot longer if you're catching Pokemon along the way. It also drains the battery a lot, a lot. And you know, you don't, you want to have that battery for the walk home because you want to be able to um, actually use your phone in case you need it for an emergency. Uh, so that was a really down point. I mean, I know it's 2017 and I should have a battery pack and just deal with it, but it sucks. Another thing is that you can't adjust the, the, the sound of the sound effects within the app itself. So if you want to listen to podcasts or music that's your own while you're playing this game, you're going to have that sound effect really, really, really loud or not at all. And I found this difficult because often I wanted to be able to not look at my screen the whole time and just listen to my podcast and then kind of, oh, there's a Pokemon here and then catch it rather than um, having to keep my eyes glued on the screen the whole time. So I would really enjoy like a slider to be able to enjoy that, but I just couldn't. So that that was a big that was actually a really big turnoff for me in this game. Overall, I think this game is excellent if you are wanting to just like need that motivation to get outside at the house and just start walking at all. Um, if you're really intent on it, like getting the most and like being outside for the sake of exercise and building up that personal best. It's probably not for you. It's not made for like a proper walk. It's more made for something casual and just relax. You know, it kind of gives you something to do while on the move. I found it excellent if you were planning to say a walk to the library and it goes, okay, we'll go over two kilometers and you just go, okay, I'm just going to allow myself that extra bit of time that I normally wouldn't have um, and then have some fun along the way. But if you're going, I want to get here and I want to get here by a certain time, don't, don't play this game. You're gonna get distracted and you're gonna slow down and you're just not gonna get to that place on time. The fact that this game is free um, is just amazing because there are microtransactions, but I felt like I never actually ever had to use them. I always had enough potions and things that I needed. Um, yeah, never a problem for me. I had problems with backpack management and annoyance with coins and stuff, but so that's another part of a review. But yeah, as far as actually needing to pay for anything, this is an app that just, is a lot of fun if you need, if you just want to have a go. I think everyone should at least try this, either for the nostalgia factor or the novelty factor. There is a bit of a learning curve because there is not very much information in this game, but you quickly figure it out and have a bit of fun. So I think it's worth, if you've got a spare afternoon, having on your phone, just going, let's explore a park and have some fun. Um, especially if you've got some kids around and they're not really entertained, it gives you something to do. It's like that treasure hunt, but the treasure is Pokemon. I recommend this game. Will I stick with this game? Maybe, maybe not. It depends. Um, I think it'll be something I play not regularly, but um, occasionally, depending on like a Sunday game, a Sunday chill out, relax game where I want to do that bit of exercise, but I don't want to push myself and I just want to have a bit of Now, Karina, I've shared my thoughts on my Pokemon Go experience, but I hear that you've had a, an experience of sorts. Uh, I witnessed an experience um, of Pokemon Go and many many people enjoying Pokemon Go together in a very small enclosed space. Um, so I was in Singapore last year at STGCC which is a great convention if you like nerdy shit, which I do, I mean nerdy things. Um, and there was a rare Pokemon and it was about two or three hundred meters away from where I was standing and obviously it just kind of appeared because like i saw one person and they were just like running and it's like two people also running and then all of a sudden there was like like 50 people all running from this one it was like a, a what was that oh it was the marina bay sands the big big shopping center and they all started running together and, th and they're like stampeding through this tiny little freaking doorway and like one girl she's like wearing ridiculous shoes and just like slids out from underneath her and everyone just like falls over her and they just keep running. Oh no! All to get this freaking Pokemon. And it's just like this stampede, it's like this human ball of flesh just moving forward. It's quite funny. And then someone I was with was like, I really need that Pokemon and just like ran. And I'm like, dude, 
I haven't had much of an experience like being with other people, but the, the, now we have like raid battles, which you can work together as a team to get this red Pokemon. Ah. And I was going past like a park where like the raid battle was about to happen soon, and it was a dog park, and it was just like a circle of people with their dogs kind of there, and I wasn't sure if they were chatting about like dog things or if they were Pokemon players. So I didn't go in because I didn't have a dog. So I didn't feel like I could just like randomly walk past and like I want to do a raid battle, but it was like maybe this isn't this isn't Pokemon. Maybe this is just real animals and people enjoying time talking about their animals with their dogs. Yeah. So you know, maybe another time. <laughs> maybe I'll get that experience another time. Pets are a good way to spend more time Pet, outside. Yes. Pets are a really great way to spend more time outside. I love walking my doggies. They're very cute and people really like them. I have chickens um, and chickens always have to be outside but you can't take them to the park unless you have a harness which you can do but I don't do because um, I have three chickens and that would be quite difficult. Uh, but I do let them out to my front yard and my neighbours appreciate that and they come and talk to me which is both terrifying but also nice. Why are your neighbours terrifying? <laughs> No, just because I've never met people before and it's uh, like talking yeah. to people I don't know and they're like, hey, you've got a garden and chickens. It's like, yes, I do. Yeah, I think going outside and spending time with your animals and it's a really great way to kind of get over that little bit of social anxiety that I, I, I know I feel a bit of social anxiety and I find it hard to talk to strange people that I don't know. And when I take my dogs out, Pretty much it's a safe way for people to approach you and... Animals are a buffer. <laughs> animals are a buffer. They will... They. It just gives you a safe topic. It's not like, who are you? What are you about? Like, tell me the, all these things. It's like, oh, I really like your dog. What type of dog is it? You know, how, like, do you live around here? And then you just talk about the weather and like really mundane things. But... It can give you a really positive experience with someone that you might not have met before. And the great thing is, you probably will never have to see them again, especially if you're going on a long walk away <laughs> from your home. Pokemon Go is also a really good way to like have a buffer if you can tell that someone else is definitely hanging around a certain area to be near a certain particular gym. Um, it also means that they're a gamer and you're likely to have something else in common with them. And so you can both be outside, be 10% happier, and make friends. What? Which is like, you know, chip away at that social anxiety by doing one thing that's like a little bit challenging and you don't have to do it every day. And you don't have to be friends with people that you meet. You can just be nice and go home. So uh, I think we should uh, wrap this up. Yeah. So uh, thank you for watching uh, our episode two. Uh, if you want to see more episodes, because we hope to make more episodes, uh, just subscribe to GameFed. We also have other videos that aren't health related, um, so check us out. We also have a uh, Twitter and other things, which I'll put down all in the thing below in the box. Now we're gonna just enjoy being outside, and I'm gonna go catch some more Pokemon. I'm gonna put some sunscreen on because I'm pale. The words, the words, the wind, the wind. The wind. Oh, I don't. We really don't have an ozone layer, guys. Like, the sun here is just shit. It's a duck. Oh, there's two ducks. I just thought it was a really big duck. The wood ducks. I like wood ducks because they look like they've got like little mohawks. Oh my god, they do.